Genevieve from Love Always Jen and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my like DIY um, it's like a party favor or wedding favor this is what it looks like I show you guys in the video a little better but they're cute little bride and groom like wedding favors or party favors whatever you want to call them but I'm planning on having these I think at the wedding like a little basket or container and people can grab them and i think i'm going to put on one of the sides the date of the wedding and our names that way it's like a little bit more customized and people can keep it you know it's cute so i thought i'd show you guys how to make this if you want to know how i made it then just keep watching So these are going to be some of the things that you're going to need. I have a list right here to the left. You're going to need some clothespins, scissors, some tool, a hot glue gun, hot glue gun sticks, um, a black sharpie, and a white marker, like paint marker or a good white marker. So we're going to start with the groom. So we're going to go in with a black sharpie and kind of start filling in where we want his tux to start. Then we're just going to go from there, kind of like shape it out and just fill it in all the way down till you finish the whole side and just leave the head um, blank. So you just want to fill in the whole side right there. Now we're going to the back and we're just going to kind of connect that line to the very back and then to the other side. Kind of get it pretty even for the most part. If it's not even, it's fine. It'll still look good, but you just kind of want to even it out for the most part, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just kind of showing you me filling it in a little bit on that side, um, but I'm also going to go back to the back side, the very back of the groom and fill that in, but you're just going to fill it all in and make sure those little parts in between the metal you fill in as well. I'm just showing you here me filling in the whole back. You can do it kind of however you want in stripes or just scribble kind of whatever you works for you. Um, but as long as it's all filled in on the back, the left and right side, just leaving the head of the groom and bride um, empty and blank. So I went ahead and did a couple more off camera. Now we're gonna work on the bride side with the white paint marker. This one has somewhat of like an angled tip. That way it's easier to get certain angles of it or certain parts that need to be a little more sharp. We're gonna go ahead and shake it and then press down on the paper with this marker. This one you have to shake and make sure you press down so the ink comes out good. But now we're gonna go ahead and start working on where we want the bride's dress to start we kind of just go in at an angle and then i like to do three little dots or a couple dots just to do the necklace for her and then we're going to kind of go down and just fill it all in all the way down the whole side just leaving her head blank like i said earlier We're going to do exactly the same thing on this side. Thank you. 
So I'm all done with the paint for this one. We're just gonna kind of set it to dry, but they dry really quickly. So you don't have to wait too long to get started on the veil. But I'm just gonna finish up the rest of these doing the exact same thing. And then once I'm done, I'll show you guys how I do the veil. So I already finished up working on the ones I did earlier. I ended up doing some more that I wanted to get done that day. Now we're gonna work on the veil. Here I have some tool. I'm gonna kind of show you how I'm gonna cut it. I don't really measure it. I just kind of get a square size, like not too big of a square. And then I just cut straight up. And then from there, I'm gonna cut three veils for three different um, clothespins. So I'm kind of showing you here. This is kind of how it looks. So it's more of a rectangle shape than a square, but I'm kind of showing you here. The shorter side of the tool is about the same height of the clothespin. And then from there, I'm gonna cut two slits in it to make three um, veils. So I'm just doing even like cuts. So it's gonna be three pretty much even rectangles doesn't have to be perfect if it's a little off it's fine but I'm just kind of showing you here how I did it so you can kind of see the sizing and where I cut it So here I'm going to show you kind of how I do it. I like to fold it a little bit at the top and then fold it inward so it kind of makes a triangle shape. You can kind of see that here. And then make sure your hot glue gun is already plugged in so it starts heating up and coming out. So I heated it up, added some glue towards the head. You don't need this much glue. This one I kind of messed up, but I made it work. Um, you just need a little glue, put it on the back of the bride's head. Make sure you get it on the bride's head, not the groom. You just keep that ve the veil how you had it in the same shape how you folded it and then just attach it to the glue press on it for a little bit and it creates a cute little veil so mine's just about the same length of the clothespin but you can always do it a little bit longer if you want um, i did a couple a little bit longer and i'll show you that a little bit later but all you do for that is just cut a longer piece of veil and then fold it over and instead of folding it over like just a little bit at the top you would fold it over more so it goes lower and then it kind of creates like a double veil except the inner veil will be a little bit shorter than the outer veil so i'll kind of show you that later on but on this one i just did the exact same thing as i did on the first one it's a very easy very simple and really really cute does not have to be perfect um all of mine i think came out really good at the end but this is another one I'm showing you. I did the same fold. So for this one I'm showing you, I did a longer veil. So instead of folding it just a little bit at the top, I folded it where it would come down a little bit more. And also the tool is a longer tool than the one I used originally. So that way you can kind of see the inner tool is shorter than the outer side of the tool. So it gives it more of a like extra layer to the veil so it looks kind of nice that way too and you can kind of mix and match if you want i folded this one the exact same as the other ones um kind of in that triangle shape so they're all done and i did about 25 of them that day but this is how they all came out
I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how I made these cute little bride and groom party favors. Super cute. Um, it's pretty easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.